so how important have relationships been in your career and, and how do you kind of go about kind of maintaining and growing relationships? Is that something that you're, you're mindful of or? Very much so. I mean, it is all about relationships in this, in, in, in any industry, I, I'm mm-hmm. you know, building these relationships and it's not using people, but it's understanding that everybody has a different spoke in the wheel, so to speak. And, and you mm-hmm. need as many spokes reaching into that market or into that uh, opportunity. Um, and, and, and to be very wise about, you know, the way you treat people and, and the biggest hits in the world, anybody, if, if like, if an artist is honest, if an a and guy is honest, if their team is honest, they had no idea that it was going to be as big as it is. Like, almost across the board, um, getting people to be honest sometimes is the harder battle there. Everybody. Uh, so, during the break, Brandon, he's like, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm going to Belmont and just going to school. And he said, do you have your fiddle? So, there's a lesson to start. Always have your instrument. Mm-hmm. Um, the ne- next question, he's like, is it in your car? <laughs> and it, he goes, never leave your fiddle in your car. <laughs> oh, wow. And right after that, I had a, a song on Leanne Womack's first record called Montgomery to Memphis. And it was cut. So mm-hmm. that's not a, that was great. It was, a, it was a platinum record. But I actually have the CD pro of how it was supposed to be the single, the last single off the first record. Mm. And some, in some conference room, they decided they couldn't get the single up and down before Christmas. So they pulled a little past Little Rock off the next record and made that the single. Mm. And so Montgomery and Memphis was never released. So, was- you know, rejection is a horrible thing in this business, but it daily happens to all of them. I have to, there's artists who don't, you know, that you talk to and you think, oh, I'm going to get them over here. Well, no, it doesn't happen. And it's the same with songs. You think, mm-hmm. oh, this is going to be that big cut or this is going to happen. That's just a part. You just, you're geared up for it and you just keep doing your best. Songwriters are some of the most sensitive, wonderful, gifted, but they they have to be prepared for rejection. <laughs> right. But if I had these 10 songs in a 40 minute set, how many moments could I create if I positioned them in the right places uh, with setups, without setups, you know, just a 40 minute program, mm-hmm. how many moments can I create? And if I can't create three moments, then we probably don't have the right set of 10 songs. I think my takeaway was, you know, what? at the end of the day, all I can do is be incredibly present in the writing process, strive to be as excellent as I can in that, try to do good business. Mm-hmm. And then beyond that, a lot of it, it's just not up to me. And I, and, 